Hey, something about the number 500 in the title. So, weird thing about vlog number 500. I've actually got like 530 something videos uploaded, but there's not 500 actual vlogs. So I'm not sure how to do the numbering on this. And there's also some vlogs and other videos that have been made private due to whatever reason. So there's like 520, 530 or more something videos, but less than 500 vlogs because I didn't start at number one. Um, actually comment down below, don't, don't cheat. You can't scroll back and check, but if you know what number I started with, leave a comment and tell me. But don't leave a comment if you had to go back and check. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I said that, but anyways, yeah, so I don't know if I'm supposed to do a celebration or something. We passed actual 500 uploads a long time ago, so I don't know, whatever. Uh, enough about that. Let's get into the video. Okay, I've been working on some organization in here. And, um, well, except for this printer that I just jammed my feet into. Most of the stuff is up off the floor, at least under the desks. I still need to sort out all this garbage. And uh, I'm probably gonna move these machines around in here a little bit. I'll have to figure out what I wanna do there. But I wound up blowing a power supply in one of the computers, and it's a super weird one. Luckily, there's a local recycler that sells them, or at least has one, and I'm gonna go buy it tonight. It's uh, actually the same place that I bought this iMac from. I think it was in like, Maybe the third or fifth video I ever made. Um, but yeah, I've, I've had that thing pretty much forever. But, you know how I keep saying everything is weird right now? Go turn off the office. They want to do a no contact pickup. So, they, uh, they have me pay the invoice in advance and I'm gonna drive over to the place now after hours. And apparently, they want me to text them when I get there, and they're gonna leave the stuff I bought outside in a parking lot. And what's also peculiar is right now their store isn't open, and you have to buy like a bunch of stuff before they will even let you buy anything from them. And I've been trying to get these hard drives that they've been selling for a while, but they don't cost enough. So since I'm already buying this power supply, I threw, had them throw the hard drives onto the invoice as well. I'm not quite sure how this is gonna work, if they're just gonna like, throw some hard drives out on the sidewalk or what exactly is gonna happen. But I'm supposed to text them. They said they're gonna come outside, put down the stuff, and then I'm not supposed to approach until they go back into the building. <laughs> um, I understand like all the distancing stuff that people are doing, but this one seems a little bit strange. Nonetheless, they have parts that I need and really cheap hard drives. So <laughs> we're gonna go check this out. This, this might be entertaining. By the way, if you're not aware and you don't use smart home stuff, uh, the, um, the Google Home, when combined with a Chromecast on a TV that is new enough to have the CEC control, you can do things like this. Okay, Boomer, turn off the TV. Yeah, it's kind of a cool thing. I didn't even realize that was a thing, but yeah, it works. And the Boomer part, I don't know why, sometimes it responds to that and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> but anyways, um, I'm gonna gather all my stuff and let's drive downtown and get some stuff from a sidewalk that somebody left there that I'm definitely not stealing. And we have a special guest today, our temporary guest star. The, uh, the Quantum Forefront has decided to grace us with its presence temporarily. Um, Apparently the factory rep still has my other chair. I thought they were sending that back to Quantum, but I don't know. More about this later. It's, um... Yeah. It still has a number of issues, and I'll go into it more next week, but I'm meeting with a lawyer for a consultation on Thursday, and that's kind of the point we've gotten to with this thing so far. Yeah, whatever. Let's uh let's go buy some stuff. I still have yet to install the uh, camera mount in this van. Uh 
I got it out of the old green van, but I might have to uh, come up with a slightly different design for this van. Since the other one, I just drove sheetrock screws through <laughs> through the dashboard. And this van's a little bit newer and a little bit nicer enough that I probably don't want to do that. But yeah, anyways. Oh, by the way, this extra seat belt that I added, it's the wrong buckle. So this doesn't fit in there. Um, so we're gonna have to make a run to the junkyard at some point so I can get the uh, proper attachment and stop using the passenger seat belt. Um, <laughs> yeah. Ah, look at the flowers and the trees, all the colors. into the, uh, well, the outside B without a run through the McDonald's drive-through. Hey, let me get a large iced coffee with no liquid sugar and that'll do it. Oh, what the heck? My hand controls are acting kind of weird. Let me shut this. Th okay, there we go. Thought maybe the lock on here was screwed up. Oh, it was partially on. <laughs> I was gonna say every so often when I go to hit the accelerator, it's like stuck and it doesn't want to move. But there's a little lockout on the side of this thing that apparently uh, got bumped somehow. I'll use Apple Pay if you can hold out the reader. Yeah, it's no sugar. These are plain iced. Yeah, just coffee and creamer. Just coffee and creamer. Yeah. All right. You do. We're headed deep into the seamy underbelly of the uh, industrial area over here on Yeon Street. And they are the masters of giant holes in the road. The potholes down here are intense. I knocked the exhaust off the old green van more than once coming down here. Which ironically, there's a wheelchair van store down here as well. Uh, so you gotta be careful with these driveways. I'm about 15 minutes early, so they said anytime after 6.30 p.m. up until 10 p.m. would be good. So, let's see here. Will these train tracks spill my coffee? Yeah, we're good. And here we are. No disabled parking, but I can just kind of park like a tool over here, I think. Oh, wait, wait, no, I can get close to the sidewalk. Yeah, I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll just bridge my lift over to the sidewalk, that'll work. Let's do a quick check here and make sure we're in range. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay, and I'm supposed to text this person when I get here. Let's see. Please wait in your car until you see him put them out the front door. I hope they're not going to put them on the ground. Because reaching the ground is going to be difficult. So, I'm a good 50 feet from the front of this building. It's, I don't know, everything about this is really strange. Oh. 
They've deposited a box on the ground. So it's kind of a big heavy box. I just texted and told him to put it on the picnic table because I'm not gonna be able to pick it up off the ground. We'll see what he says. Yeah, just set it on the table, that'd be great. Yeah. Welcome to the future, I guess. <laughs> Have a good one, man. So, there's just there's just hard drives in here. Um, I think they forgot something. Okay, real talk. Um, are we really living in a world now where people see other humans and they literally run the other direction? I started moving towards the guy and he stopped and turned around like a trapped cat trying to figure out which direction he wanted to go because I was like getting closer to him. So I stopped and he went back in through the door. Um, society is gonna have some interesting lingering effects from this. I mean, I don't mind people staying away from me, but when you get to a certain point, um, Strange is not exactly the word I'd describe it with, but you know, whatever. The stuff was cheap. Oh, uh, so apparently the power supply, they already sold it or I don't know what happened exactly, but they don't have it. So I just got the hard drives, which is fine. I've got another, well, I can make it work for now, but mostly the hard drives is what I wanted and they wouldn't sell that to me originally because I wasn't spending enough money. So whatever he refunded me for the power supply <laughs> and uh we just got a bunch of hard drives so anywho uh this is just interesting all right well let's get out of here Let's see what we ended up with here. So WD Red, three terabytes. I got three of these. And then we have a couple of these purples. These are like for surveillance hardware. They're rated for constant reading and writing. So they're designed to be used 100% of the time. They're just not nearly as fast as the reds. But I got two of these, and these are gonna go in the computer out in the front room, the one that I do streaming and everything on, because the hard drives in that machine are getting pretty old. They haven't failed or anything like that yet, and I'm not getting smart errors on them, but I figure they are Seagate drives, and they have been around for a while, so it's probably time to upgrade them. And when this, when this recycler gets drives available, they're super cheap, and they always have a lot of them. So if I do need more of these two terabyte ones, they've got pretty much an unlimited supply of them. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick these three, uh, three terabyte drives into the network attached storage device here. I'm still backing up data from that thing, so it's going to be a little while. You can hot swap new drives in while it's running, but uh, until that completes, uh, we'll just kind of let this do its thing. But yeah, random computer stuff, just trying to plan ahead. This will give me another 12 terabytes of storage that is redundantly backed up. Because for some reason I generate a lot of files and it just doesn't stop. <laughs> like every week there's, oh gosh, what? Probably another 60 to 100 gigs worth of stuff. <laughs> Maybe not that much every time, but uh, yeah. Anyways, projects to catch up on, things to do while Goodwill is closed. Because, you know, that's my whole thing in life is being able to troll around the Goodwills and find things for sale inside this box with a lithium ion warning sticker on it. Actually, I don't know why it has a lithium warning sticker on it. And they got batteries in it. But this is gonna be 
something amazing because this will absorb hundreds of hours of my time. I finally got another Arduino Uno and um, we're gonna work on some programming. And this is gonna be the base for the RC or remote control power chair setup. Please reject and do not sign the package. Oh, and some little rubber feet. This thing's actually a knockoff Arduino, but it's fully 100% compatible with all of the, wow, that was strong glue. Ah. This is glue, strong stuff. But it's 100% compatible with all of the actual Arduino accessories and everything. It even comes in a box that looks pretty much the same. This was like $41 and it comes with all this stuff. But yeah, it's uh, so this will be the data interface. You run some custom software on it, plug it into a dynamic control, uh, or even RNet. There's a few different versions. There's a number number of people that have uh, dev kits out there to uh, do remote control power chair. It's basically CAN bus interface integration. Anyways, whatever. I'm gonna start digging into this thing. I messed with these a long time ago when they were still stupid expensive, but uh, I think it's time to dump back in. Dump. <laughs> I think it's time to jump back into the. Uh, the code monkey rabbit hole. I should be able to take over the world with this thing. Anyways, uh, I want to say thanks to the new channel members and Patreons. I'm working on getting the names updated on everything. If you join through the YouTube member section, there's a comment in the members only area there that I asked what you want to use for your name or nickname. Just go ahead and reply to that with the nickname or the name that you want to use. If I don't hear anything, uh, in a few days, I'll probably just use your YouTube username. Uh, but if you want a custom one, go ahead and reply to that comment. And if your YouTube username is not, well, if it's a bunch of symbols and numbers, or if it's not in English, I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. Um, I don't have a way to type um, symbols and things other than English, <laughs> as far as that goes. So reply to that comment with what you want your channel name to be. Otherwise, I'm not sure how I could put your name on the wall or in the closing credits. Uh, we've got, uh, oh, this camera is not gonna show this very well. Um, there's a couple people that had their names changed on here. I'm still printing out a couple of new ones, but yeah. Just quick update on that. I appreciate everyone that's joining. That helps out a lot. Um, I, like I said, it, it's not mandatory in any way. Um, just, it's a thing you can do and yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna stop talking now. I love to start rambling. I start talking about things that I don't wanna talk about and then I just start speaking really fast and uh, I'm gonna push this button now. I'll see you guys in a couple days.